The recently updated SafeMoon website is just wave one of their updates. And in a post on Twitter, SafeMoon is asking the community for any thoughts, suggestions, requests that they have of what else could be added to the website for functionality support. And let's go ahead and go through some of the replies on this. And I would love to know from you guys as well down in the comments below, what is it that you would like to be, uh, see be added? Is there anything that's mentioned here that you also highly agree with? And ideally, it would also be good if you want these things to go in and show your support over on the Twitter post, which I'll include a link to that down in the description below. So let's go ahead and get started. SafeMoon tweeted out saying, now that you've had a few days to navigate wave one of the new safemoon.com, what aspects of the experience resonate with you? And as we set sail towards wave two, envision the possibilities with us. What features would you love to see added to elevate your browsing voyage? And so down below, we see Choice says, I would love to see a burn tracking mechanism that shows the burn contributed by each of the sources of burn, i.e. burn created by card usage, bridge fees, blockchain gas, buys, sells, etc. And Safer, SafeMoon did respond to some of these posts. They said here, thank you. We will be sure to add your recommendation to the box of possibilities. Someone else says, would love to see a burn countdown. A team site is missing. Would love to see a progress bar on the projects. And SafeMoon looking like they're writing this down. Another, is the original waitlist for the card still valid? I need that launch edition. SafeMoon saying the OG waitlist is still valid. And then we also have, well, actually this next one, it looks like it may have been resolved already. This person is saying the compatibility in the Brave browser should also be reconsidered. Page scrolling seemed problematic, but SafeMoon said, try it again and let us know if you're still experiencing that issue. Uh, personally, I use Brave Browser, and when I went and checked out the website shortly after it went live, I didn't have any issues with it, so hopefully you guys aren't either. Let us know in the comments. And we see also Zills saying here, can, uh, call Gloobiz and put his function, please. This is a safemoongloobiz.com website. So Gloobiz is a member of the community space, and we as a community have been using his website as a resource for quite a while now. And the thing is, though, I'm a little bit concerned about this one. Not so much because I don't trust Gloobiz. I've actually worked with Gloobiz together on a video on my channel in the past. Um, Gloobiz seems like a, a very nice person. The thing is that because Gloobiz does not directly work with SafeMoon and it is a separate website, if you have anything that redirects from SafeMoon's website to an outside party's source, you're obviously running into the inherent risk that if there was some sort of a compromise that took place uh, for the SafeMoon Globus website, that could reflect poorly on SafeMoon themselves. And so I would think that they would be trying to avoid something like that. But I will say I really like SafeMoon Globus's website. So if SafeMoon is willing to take on that risk, and I have a feeling that Gloobiz already has enough security preventions in there. It should be fine. I would like to see that integration come into play. But it's not up to me. Okay. So, what else could we possibly have on this website? SafeMoonian says, my thoughts are crypto live ticker, top 100 or more, news feed, podcast, feed implementation, community feed with fan art, things that the community is doing in focus of SafeMoon and the SafeMoon partners, a representation feed of the SafeMoon army, SafeMoon family. Personally, would love to see an option to integrate a certain card and online shopping experience in Wave 2. It would be nice to add in the webpage a top 10 gainers partners as in the future safe moon partners will increase less chance to be in the top 10. Okay. 
Uh, I'll read one or two more and then I want to give my thoughts. Could you make an action button that when you click on it, Honey Badger dances? So they're just trying to have a little fun there. It'd be nice to have a drilled down explanation on what certain products will do and how they will fit into the future. To be honest, I don't have any idea on what most of the products will do, how they will, uh, how they work or how I would use them. I'm just an average entry level person. Okay, so Safe Moon, the team, if you guys are watching my video, which I hope you guys are, um, I think that it would be a great idea if because one of the, what is it, what do you call it, mantras or sayings that Safe Moon says, we are Safe Moon, we are family, that whole concept, it's trying to convey a point that we're all in this together, right? Uh, saying that we're all a family to me, in my opinion, I, I have my own point of view on that. But anyways, the main point of that takeaway is that we're all in this together. So because there's the safe moon swap, you have swap partners. I personally think that it would be good to help stress that relationship more by having on the home page an area where it can be easily seen that it's like, hey, this is today's featured safe moon swap partner maybe it's just like a little widget box something uh kind of vertical fits alongside the page there again this is just a, a thought experiment but i think that if you switched out on the daily you could even maybe have it set up on a cycle where it shows the logo of the safe moon swap partner that way then it's easily identifiable has a link over to their twitter page has uh, even possibly it directly incorporates the safe moon swap so that if you wanted to you could be able to swap for that specific token right then and there again these are just thoughts but if anything i think it would be good to where if people want to learn more information about that specific token then they're able to do so <clears throat> and then having a different chance to where it's being featured a different project every day it could increase trading volume <clears throat> um Another thing could possibly be showing the price charts with this. So if you don't necessarily directly have the Safe Moon Swap feature built in on this visual, having it to where you can quickly click on that to redirect you over to the Safe Moon Swap page, I think that should also be fine too, right? So it's like uh, you have all the little description description pieces there, and then it says uh, buy, for example, Glow Token. Buy Glow Token now. And then you click on that and it redirects you over to the SafeMoon swap page. I think that would be good. SafeMoon is more than just a token. They're trying to build out a lot of tools that can also be utilized by a lot of other cryptocurrencies. And having that sort of emphasis of that relationship with these other projects and helping give them additional exposure and building those relationships, I think would be absolutely very key and very important to helping move forward. I would love to know if you guys agree with my idea on this. And SafeMoon, if you are listening, which again, I hope that you are, I would love to know if you guys like this idea as well. Um, I'm happy to give other suggestions. If you guys want to, my DMs are open over on Twitter. And that's what I got for you guys in this video. Thank you so much to my Patreon supporters. Double shout out. Thank you to we love SafeMoon.com, Victor Vegas, SafeMoon Oz for being higher level patrons. Also, thank you to my YouTube members for your support. Do not forget to hit subscribe, hit the thumbs up, like button. God bless, and we'll see you in the next episode.